and hello and thank you for joining me again it is jackie from white raven the book rook on vancouver island i um, just wanted to show this little journal that i made um it actually goes inside of this larger lap book that i have um, just posted on youtube as well and in my groups um if you'd like to see it i'll put the link in the description box below so um <clears throat> this book this journal lives inside this lap book over here this is a beast so um you can see that lap book and and a quick flip through of the journal like i said i'll provide the description in or a link in the description box so um i said i would just show a separate video of the journal itself this is where I used um, a lot more of Artie May's um, digitals from A Day at the Beach. So it's just one signature. And it's about 14 pages. Um, Double-sided si double and so 28 double-sided. Um, some, of, some of them are made of the larger paper. The legal size as we call it here in Canada. And um, an 8 by 11 is this big, and a legal size is 8.5 um, eight by 14. So it gives you that little extra to flip. But I'll show you from the beginning. Um, this is a seagull feather that I found on the beach. And I just made this little cover for the front. And uh, this is the back. It has stenciling and inks as well as little bits of trim on the pages um, the other book that, the main um, lap book that this fits in is called uh, messages in a bottle and this is one of the messages and i like this one a lot it says i don't know if you can read that my soul is full of longing for the secret of the sea and the hearing of the great ocean ends a sends a thrill in a thrill in pulse, pulse through me. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. I couldn't remember it and I couldn't really read it past all the, the wrinkled texture on the page. But anyway, it's beautiful. I'll just hold it there. You want to read it. So um, the book is uh, nine, well, eight and a half by uh, five and a half. And um, there's a number of pockets. She dreams of the ocean late at night and longs for the wild salt air. And um, there's a couple of little um, tags and booklets like this um, for writing notes these pages I do believe they are from my porch prints but I will put the proper link as well in the description box because these are gorgeous as well so all the um, pages were inked and um, with the distress inks and uh, of many colors you've got the browns and the yellows and the greens and the blues and i also use some of the mica stains on here to give it the shine and oh and there's also gesso on here and some stempling stempling stenciling i guess stempling is stamping and stenciling but we'll just tell you that that is stenciling. And some die cuts. And there's another little pocket here. And some stamps. That's, this one says collect beautiful moments. That's a Tim Holtz uh, recent stamp collection. I think that was um, maybe in the summer. This summer. So I put a, a few of those in because this is a notebook about um, memories and saving beautiful thoughts. And um, 
feels feels great. Some line pages and some pictures. Another one. This is a little pocket from the last Tim Holtz die set with all the envelopes and um, whatnot in it. And it, another, another stamp that says, Every Adventure is Worthwhile. So, um, this is the die set that I've been talking about. Or this one. Or this one. And in this case, this is the envelope from there. And then this is a little Artie Mays. One of her beautiful digitals for the Day at the Beach. The Victorian vintage. And the stamping is from this kit. Every adventure is worthwhile. That was also on the front of the laptop. Lap book. Lap book. Sorry. So, um, Artie Mae's little tag. There's a little pocket there as well. So that goes in there. This is one of those larger pages. There's a die cut on there. This is one of the photo um, slide from this kit, our die cut set. And I made that so that it flips down and you can write little notes inside there. It also extends a little bit of the photo. So another Artie Maze inside. And that's uh, tea stained or coffee stained. And uh, some stenciling. That's an old one. I think that was called Flourish. Um, beautiful seaside papers. And the mica on there. I think it just added a lot to this journal because it's sort of a whimsical fantasy of mermaids so it's there there's a big tag that i made um message in the bottle and some of the papers cards that i used for backgrounds in the original lap book there's a big pocket envelope here. I made that into a pocket. It's just a big envelope and I stamped Believe in Yourself. Um, there's some of the embroidered lace on there. And that's also in the other book. So it's consistent. It bring, brings a cohesiveness between the, the lap book and the journal. More die cuts found this dif this die was very difficult and I've tried a number of ways to try and um, get it to cut clean but um, I don't mind that some of them aren't punched right completely through kind of adds to the junk journal part of a junk journal I thought so another beautiful image and again and another one of those um, pockets. And I, I printed this um, paper with a sort of a um, oh, ombre from the blue to the pink to the yellow. And then I made the envelopes out of that. And um, it's, of course, a, another big space. Stick something. Another Artie Mays. It's also a pocket tuck spot if you want to put something underneath. I didn't add a lot of things in this book. I've kept it more just for journaling. You could take this out, just go to the beach with it if you wanted to write some thoughts while you're there. And uh, <laughs> just one life. I thought that was perfect for these little guys because I've watched some documentaries on them and how they... <laughs> How they survive and how you know um how they try to manage all the perils of life and little things just get out of those eggs and scoot to the water and uh they're amazing but 
unfortunately, a number of them that are, are born and make it to the sea, a, a, a lot of them don't uh, make it too long. But that's the circle of life. So, um, again, some of the little um, uh, photos at, and digitals that I got and that were also used in the lap book. I made them smaller and put them in this book. And also in that book, there are um, a number of these little birds. These are Tim Holtz dies as well. And um, I will show you. Um, no, sorry, I fibbed. I can't find it right now. So, um, But um, there's a cut and there's a number of these little, uh, or die cut and there's a number of these little birds. Um, I put one or two of them in here as well. Another one of those little um, folio envelopes. I always thought that they were going to be bigger, and uh, most of the stuff that I get, <laughs> I always think it's bigger um, than what it actually comes as. But this one opens, you can write inside of that one, and that just sort of tucks into there to close. It tucks into here to close. And there's a little, one of those little... Um, One of those tags, tabs, and I tried it uh, with those little words. I will collect on this one. So that was, they were just, I was just trying them out to see uh, how they worked out. But um, I think I need a little bit thicker material. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. They worked out. Make Today Amazing. Beautiful page. An octopus, and that's the center of the signature where the big page flips out. It could also be glued down if you wanted to make pocket. This is some some net that uh, I found in packaging. Um, Amazon, no, it's not Amazon, it's a food, um, so fresh or something like that. One of those food kits that I get, and uh. This was in there to um, insulate and um, provide insulation for um, the food. And uh, we ripped the top layer off and this was underneath and I thought that's perfect to make um, netting. So I've used that on um, both of these projects as well. Here's a little Artie Maze. I made a little clip out of it. It's just got acetate on the inside and a uh, uh -huh. paper clip and a little bit of material that I used in the journal and uh, that just goes on to the top of a page like that limited edition I stamped on there it's a, it's a wheel and uh, another beautiful page another photo with the mermaid and uh, the pages have a kind of a neat um, different kind of almost mm, not leather but I use a little bit thicker paper as well I don't just use copy paper I go up to about a um, hundred or ninety five weight 80 weight maybe and they're just a little more sturdy for when I want a coffee dye and add all these inks and whatnot so this page I really like probably the stenciling up the side I think that was called flourish and it says hope is never lost there's our little guy and this page flips open to a big page And this one flips down. So like I said, lots of lots of space for just writing. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, the going to the beach inspires me. So I thought it'd be a nice place to just take this little book and go write your thoughts. Make today amazing. 
So again, all of those stamps are off of this set. And um, another tab, another photo. There's a couple of the um, Artie Mays vintage images in there. And I typed, stamped on here, live your story. And um, another page, another line page, another mermaid. I made that into a big tuck spot. I she had something larger that you wanted to put into here. You would have the space for that. Be fearless. And blessed are the curious. And look, there they are at the beach, exploring as they should be. And some more of the die cuts. And um, these are out of a little bit of a card stock. Um, I got a book, a bunch of books from scrapbook.com. And um, I'll show you. I don't know if this one um, was... Oh, yeah, I did use this one for quite a bit. So some beautiful pattern paper. And um, they're just the right weight. I don't know. 230 GSM. I'm not sure what that is in Canadian. <laughs> or not metric. GSM, probably about 120 or something. Anyway, they're a nice card, so not too heavy, but they worked out well in that die cut that I was complaining about earlier. Not get, really getting cut out too well. It seemed to cut out pretty good on that heavier card. And there's a bottle, a message in the bottle. In the book, or the lap book, I covered them all with um, the icicle of Tim Holtz, that icicle powder that he makes. And um, also... Got this one, Crackle Paste Icicle, to give them some texture. And I also used this other um, one that's called Unicorn. Unicorn Effect Paste, and that's by Prima. Or Finnabar. I don't know if they're the same company or not. And so, get near the end. One more large page. Made a tab on out of one of those. Another little bottle. And uh, the last page. And there's the cover. And that's a heavier card. And, uh, and there it is. So I hope you like it. And um, I appreciate your comments. I'm going to add onto this video some of the close-ups um, just so that you can get a real good idea of some of the detail, um, particularly of the um, journal or the lap book, just to get. All right, so um, thanks again for watching, and um, I'll do some close-ups, probably as stills. I'm not sure if it will work otherwise, so um, as a video. So um, again, it's Jackie from White Raven Book Rook on Vancouver Island. Thanks for watching, and take care.